Hello everyone and welcome back to Shelly's Millions where you'll join me on my journey to become a millionaire even though I'm temporarily living solely off of California EDD unemployment benefits. All right, everyone, we're kind of testing out a new background, new studio, new lighting. Um, hopefully all of that makes this a better experience for everyone that's watching. And I really just wanted to thank everyone that's watching. I've already surpassed 600 subscribers, so I'm well on my way to getting monetized. My next goal is 1,000 subscribers. That's what I need to get monetized. You guys can all help me reach my goal by liking this video, commenting, subscribing, hit the notification bell, and sharing this video. Also, make sure to watch it to the end. That'll also get you the best tips. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to thank you all for helping me get closer to my goal. That's also going to help the YouTube algorithm suggest this video to other viewers that might also benefit from this content. I do try and respond to everyone's comments. I might not always get to you quickly, but I do try and get to them. And if I don't get to them personally, I am going to try and uh, address those comments in upcoming videos. And again, I'm releasing videos every Saturday and Monday. I want to state again that I'm not an expert. I'm going through the process myself for the first time. I'm not even sure if I'm going through it right, so please don't just do what I'm doing. Um, I definitely don't mean to imply that my way is the best way or the right way. Um, these are just videos on how I'm handling my claim. Today, I thought that the video I was going to be making was going to be taking you through the process of signing up through Cal Jobs. Um, but as I started to go through that and review more of the information, um, I think that I'm not going to sign up for Cal Jobs. The reason I originally thought I was going to be taking you through the process of signing up through Cal Jobs is because on 3 2020, I received the following letter uh, from the EDD which in bold says, notice of requirement to register for work. Now that you have filed an unemployment insurance, UI claim, the Employment Development Department, EDD, requires that you register for work by using Cal Jobs, California's online labor exchange system. You have 21 days from the date of this notice to access Cal Jobs. To complete your registration information and add a resume. If you have used Cal Jobs in the past, you will need to update your registration information and add your most recent work history. If you have not previously used Cal Jobs, the EDD has started a pre registration record for you. To complete the process, log in at www.caljobs.ca.gov. Your username is your full last name, the first initial of your first name, and the last four digits of your social security number, SSN. Your password is the two digit day you were born, the two digit month you were born, and the last four digits of your SSN. Example. For someone with the name Jane Smith, born on July 4th, and the last four of the SSN is 1234, remember to use your own information when you log on to Cal Jobs. Username Smith J1234. Password 04071234. You will be prompted to change your temporary password when you log on for the first time. If you are unable to log in or need assistance, please contact your local America's Job Center of California, AGC, no, sorry, AJ, jobs, AJCC, listed below. Failure to register and update your resume in Cal Jobs may affect your eligibility to receive UI benefits. In Cal Jobs, you can create a quality resume that can be viewed by registered employers. 
you can view and apply for a wide variety of job openings throughout California. You can set a virtual recruiter in the Job Seeker Services section to automatically notify you by email of new job openings that meet your skills and objectives. To get started, you may access CalJobs online at www.caljobs.ca.gov or by visiting a local AJCC. If you do not have access to the internet or need assistance accessing CalJobs, visit your nearest job center where you can use a computer for your online job search and there are staff to help you every step of the way. The address and phone number of your local AJCC is the address of my local um, AJCC. The EDD, an Equal Opportunity Employer Slash Program, is a partner in this publication. Auxiliary aids and services are available upon request to individuals with disabilities. Requests for services, aids, and or alternate formats need to be made by calling the above number voice or TTY 1-800-815-9387. Okay, so I got this notice and first of all, you can't go in person anymore because they don't have anybody working in person for the safety of everyone um, due to the CV, which is what I'm calling it because I can't say the name on YouTube. Okay. So secondly, it's been more than 21 days and I haven't already filled out this notice. And as I was going through more research on this program, I just don't think it's something that I should be filling out. Um, when I also got the letter to, um, which is the notice of requirement to register for work, I also received like this whole little um, Cal Jobs EDD brochure and on the back are also instructions um, how to register for that. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna follow through with that and I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. Okay, so the first reason why I don't think I'm gonna sign up for um, CalJobs is because it's already past the 21 day deadline. And reason number two is as I was researching um, this video, I discovered that the EDD has put up like a FAQ specific to the CV. So um, that says, if your employer reduced your hours or shut down operations due to CV, you are encouraged to file an unemployment insurance claim, UI. UI provides partial wage replacement benefit payments to workers who lose their job or have their hours reduced through no fault of their own. Workers who are temporarily unemployed due to CV and expected to return to work with their employer within a few weeks are not required to seek work each week. However, they must remain able, available, and ready to work during their unemployment for each week of benefits claimed and meet, meet all other eligibility criteria. Okay, so right there it says that I don't need to actively look for work. I just need to be available to go back to work once um, my employer has work for me to go back to. And then there's another um, Q&A on the FAQ that seems to also indicate that I should not fill out um, anything on the Cal Jobs website. And that is, uh, the question is, will I be ineligible for unemployment benefits if I answer no to the question about looking for work on my certification for ongoing payments. And the answer to that on their FAQ is, you should answer the question truthfully. Given the unique economic situation and lack of available work created by CV, the EDD has been able to adjust our usual eligibility requirements to allow us to automatically process a large volume of claims. You will not be penalized if you answer no to the question about looking for work, and you will be paid benefits for that week if you meet all other eligibility requirements. 
Okay, so it should follow that if you expect to return to your old job, you should not need to sign up for Cal Jobs. Um, in a lot of my videos, you're gonna hear me talk about how I did look for work. Um, and that was because I got the form that said I must look for work. And I just wanna be really clear, I do not advocate lying or stretching the truth or anything like that. Um, I kind of took that opportunity since it told me I must look for work to um, to just kind of see what was out there. But I am furloughed and I do expect to go back to work. So um, I think this time I'm not going to put that I'm searching for any other employment. I don't have plans to look for other work. Um, I want to go back to my old job so I wouldn't want to mess anything with that up. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm scared that since I said I was looking for work and this time when I certified for benefits, I'm planning on saying that I'm not looking for work. I'm nervous about that, but I want to remain truthful. I want anybody that's watching these videos, I want you to be remain truthful. I've never meant to indicate that anybody should not be truthful when they're answering these questions, but I also don't want anybody to have trouble or get delayed with their benefits and maybe it is a good time to just like explore your options. Um, also, if you have been let go and you know that you're not returning to your previous job, you definitely should go on to CalJobs at www.caljobs.ca.gov and um, sign up for CalJobs within 21 days of um, applying for benefits. Okay. So, um, I'm not an affiliate, uh, but if anybody is in the position and they want to start investing in stocks, uh, an easy platform that I love is Weeble. If you sign up and I think make an initial deposit of $100, you're going to get two free stocks. Um, I also get a couple of free stocks. Um, there's plenty of millionaire financial advisors. They're also promoting Weeble. They're already millionaires. Don't use their link. Use my link it's down below. Um, I am releasing videos on Saturdays and Mondays, and this coming Monday, I'm gonna try and use all of my resources, which are basically the EDD FAQ, Reddit, Twitter, and um, Q and A's that I found from other videos to try and answer all the commonly asked questions regarding why you may or may not be getting benefits. So I do expect that to be a really good, valuable video. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you're not missing any information and that you're up to date on um, my saga with applying for benefits. Stay healthy and safe. Try not to worry too much about things that you can't control. Tell the people around you that you love them. And thanks again and see you uh, next time on Shelly's Millions.